Nah, hihihi. -hi. Gotta love those paper towels. They're very useful at drying oneself off. <laughs> ah, how refreshing. I feel like a new princess, fresh out of the box. <laughs> I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Princess Peach has magical hair powers that she... Her hairstyle changes every time she goes through a doorway. But this doorway only. It's kind of a kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we beat up Hooktail, and now we're seeing what's happened to Peach. It's a thing that occurs sometimes. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Oh, no! Well, let's just wander around a bit. That sounds like a good thing. It doesn't work. Darn! I wanted it to work. Not hiccups, though. I don't want those. Oh, I keep making these doors open! How odd! Alright, Peach, look, you're like magic or something. This is established in some games, but not really explained ever. So... <laughs> uh, hello? Yeah, Princess Peach! Hmm. Oh, what? Who said that? Where are you? Show yourself, you fiend! How amusing! I'm right here before your eyes! I am the laboratory's very eccentric computer tech! <laughs> I don't know, man. Sir Grotus created me as a perfect computer, one with... It's flawless! I'm flawless! I have not a single flaw in the world! You mean that dome-headed dude? Yeah, that dome-headed dude! I mean, he's a very great person. He's marvelous. He made me, you know? <laughs> oh, I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why'd you leave me here? I'm unsure! An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. I'm saying you're hot. <laughs> I don't know if this is established. Ah, uh, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. Uh, there's more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. Using a whole bunch of words that, I mean, I kind of know what they are, but I really don't know what they are. So I just pretend I know what they are, and it's just it's confusing. Hmm. Such a compulsion has no precedence, cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here! Did you just say you want to observe me? <laughs> well, um... You do have that little camera up there, so... No, oh, impossible! Can't be! You're a computer! You can't be a computer! How could you be a computer?! <laughs> Computers just don't exist! If I know my malfunction, you must tell me of it! I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please! Please tell me! I'm the world's best computer! I am perfect! There should not be anything that I do not understand, please! You know, maybe it's possible that you're in love? With me? Love? What is love? Obvious song reference. I cannot compute this! Wait, you don't know what love is? Let me break out into song and tell ya. <laughs> love, uh, how do I explain? Uh, love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy. Smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. It's kind of lame, dude. <laughs> I should be nothing, cannot, there should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I'm the perfect computer. 
comprehend love. Love's not something you comprehend. Gosh. <laughs> Man, this is a uh, Princess Peach getting all philosophical over here. Will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. How did this happen? <laughs> Why would you care about love? I am perfect! There must be nothing I cannot comprehend! Nothing! That is why I must... You must help me understand this thing called love! Please! If you have any wishes that I can grant in exchange, I will grant them! But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? What a ripoff! <laughs> You ex-jerks kidnap me like common Koopas. Well, that's just racist. <laughs> and now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? Bowser would never do that. I think. And hope. <laughs> I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Why should I believe you? You're a computer! That's ridiculous! I understand you're angry. That emotion I comprehend. <laughs> well, I can't imagine why that might be. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? You sure you're not a computer? Well, okay, if you're not a computer, then I trust you. <laughs> Can I contact someone? The sooner, the better. Of course you may! Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want! It's called email. <laughs> so if you wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble! Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this computer? Alright, I'll just give this a shot. Tee hee, that tickles! <laughs> ah, it's ready, tech. Can you send it? Doot, doot, doot. Message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you again if you want, or if I want to ask you some. Hmm. Uh. Okay then. Good night. I mean, well, you probably don't sleep because you're a computer. What? <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. Things. That's what happened. Random save prompt. That's what happened. <laughs> this game is silly, in case you haven't figured it out. Now let's have a Princess Peach spinny heads. Meanwhile, somewhere else completely different. <laughs> Gee, I wonder uh, what this is. Nope, uh, I've got nothing. I can't, I can't figure out where we are anymore. I, I've got, like, literally no clue. None whatsoever. This must be, uh, the Castle of Chains. I guess. Oh my gosh, it's Bowser! Late to the party as always! Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! Ah, oh, but now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why'd you summon me? Why'd you use Summon Bowser? That spell is reserved for end of the game only, you stupid... Yeah, the little hag Cammy will arrive momentarily. She's not here, so you are basically just talking to no one. What a <laughs> so yeah, you can play as Bowser. These sections aren't really as interesting, because, like, the phone rings and interrupts you, and it's pretty great. While I was waiting for the phone to stop ringing, I just felt like cooking this guy. It's a thing that happens. You can talk to these guys, they say silly things, but let's just get the show on the road. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an impatient King of the Koopas. I gotta go look at this painting of myself. 
Hey there, Cammy. How you doing? Yes, I know, it's a long walk. Huff ho. Oh. I just returned. I'm Terry Sar ter I can speak. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? To this place? Hmm, please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It is my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? Again? It was only that one time. I'm not doing that anymore. I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time the guy blows his nose or what? Like, again, you did that last week. I don't need to know these things. Oh, well, you see, my lord, Mario is apparently hunting for an amazing treasure. Huh? Treasure? What? Oh, uh, so this is Bowser playing the role of Wario. Got it. Uh, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching Wikipedia. Uh, just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. Crystal Stars, you say? Those sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. How do you know that? They could just be stars made of crystal. Just shiny, pricey stars made of crystal, with no magical powers whatsoever. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag. Oh, thank you, sir. Leave it to me. Hmm, by the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? <laughs> I mean, obviously. I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. Oh, you were there? I never saw you, you stupid. Was everybody just in Petal Meadows without me seeing them or something? Like, I don't understand. Hmm, everyone there... We were taking everyone there for a picnic to have some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! They're out of control over here! Ah, picnic? This is no time for fun! <laughs> yeah, this is why my evil plan's always derailed. Yes, let's go with that. It's because you clods are always goofing off. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure! It's like an issue that Bowser has that gets brought up occasionally, but is never, like, plot relevant. <laughs> I don't know, man. Medical stuff. Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! <laughs> what?! Was it Bowser again?! Uh, uh, wait, I'm Bowser! What?! <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so! Except for that one time where I kidnapped her without my say-so. That was awkward. <laughs> We're gonna go kidnap her back now. This is a plan that'll work. And there's Bowser with his clown car that we seldom ever see in the Paper Mario games. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, Bowser... Uh, you know, um... Construction of this castle leaves something to be desired. <laughs> also, now there's a giant hole in it. Good job. Okay, bye! And we're saving the game again. Yeah, so this game, much like the first game, has like two little intermission segments. One for Princess Peach and the other for Bowser. Like, they're kind of semi-plot relevant, but, you know, they're, they're just intermissions. Something fun to do to kind of break up the story a little bit after important moments. Such as assassinating Charizard. Coops, my lad, you're telling me that you're going with Mario. That's right, Dad, I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. I'm going to be the best assassin lawyer combination to ever take on the world. Nice and said, young Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Coops, and I am your father. 
biology lesson of the day. <laughs> Coops, my sweet, you y'all be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. I'm not mad at you anymore because of reasons. Uh, I must add, if anything happens, you can always come back home, Coops. Don't ever forget that this village is always your home. Okay, thanks everyone. I'm off. I'm on. Don't worry. Hmm. All right, sorry to keep you waiting. You know, farewells. Uh, so where are we going? Hmm, let's head back to Rogueport. Oh yeah, Goomboa, your character that exists. Bear of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. Hmm, when this is done, the stars shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with the light. Hmm, and it didn't stop there. Each crystal star. <laughs> this is boring, Goombella. Shut up. <laughs> Stop telling on the books. I don't care how much HP and defense and attack they have. Shut up. So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magical map. Yeah, let's go. Let's do a thing. Uh, before I forget, there's a secret little thing hidden in here now that we can turn into paper. That's the Mega Rush P badge. And now Coops is trapped behind a fence, but I kind of go ahead and equip that thing if I wanted to. Well, I mean, I, I can't right now, because I, I have other stuff equipped. I'm going to actually turn this off. Um, usually I actually turn these on throughout the game, but it's just, I don't know. It's not something I really need to do, is the thing. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, Peril, actually, is a state similar to Danger, except it only has effect when they have 1 HP. So, yeah, an attack power increased by 5 sounds good, but good luck getting it. I never even pointed out that... No, wait, no, I did, did point this out. Never mind. I was mistaken. So, yeah. Uh, now we're back here, and now we gotta go back to Rogueport. Without Coops, because he's stuck behind a fence. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we'll head back to Rogueport next time, and I'll see you later. And goodbye.